All right, so about an hour ago, I got some notifications from Hadosama7 about the new cards that are currently getting Doken Awakenings, and these are all the Baba Shop exclusive cards. These are all free-to-play units that you can actually purchase from the Baba Shop, and now they have Doken Awakenings. And man, some of these Doken Awakenings are freaking awesome. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start off for, with... Um, Make sure you follow Hadosama7. He posts up all the news and data mined information from the JP side of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Go over to his page, enable notifications. As soon as something comes out on the JP side, it's usually posted up by Hadosama7. Unfortunately, there's no translations here, but we can turn to the Reddit. And thank you to the Reddit. First off, thank you for X Just Ninja for making the post. And there are a few translations that I have found through the uh, comments over here. So we're going to be basing it off of them. Uh, pretty sure they're they're accurate. I went over. I'm on the actual uh, DBZ space page for the, both the global and the JP version. So it kind of looks like um, we are actually you know everything looks uh, legit. So let's go ahead and first start off uh, an overview of everything. First off, the key plus two on all their Doken Awakenings is now guaranteed. So on every single one of these guys over here, you're going to see that they have a key plus two guaranteed, so everyone on the team is getting key plus two. A 30% attack buff, but with a 30% attack buff, it's a, and it's still a high pro probability of that 30% attack buff. It went up from 20 to 30%, so it went up by 10%, but unfortunately, it's still the same probability, but it's still, you know, high probability is high probability. You are now guaranteed that key plus two. So assuming you're running a double lead, you're going to be starting off while they're on the field with eight key. So that's awesome. Um, all the cards also now receive the Rebirth link. So that's another uh, good thing right there, because, you know, Rebirth, there's a lot of cards that are easier to get that actually have that Rebirth link. Now, this isn't going to be a team building guide. I may do team building guides in the future for all the free-to-play units, but that's not what this is going to be. Um, all the leader abilities are now their own individual types, as you can see here with the Great Saiyan on the screen. Um, they go to the 70% lead, and they give everyone key plus three of their of their own attribute type. So essentially, they are taking... I'm not saying they're taking the place. They can be used in place of the actual 70% leaders. So that's freaking cool and also uh, good to know. So if you are lacking a leader in one of those categories, you can now use a free-to-play unit. Uh, according to one of the comments in the section saying that uh, they seem to have a new type of super attack modifier, um, I'm looking over here, down here at super attack calculations, and it kind of looks it's like it's the same, so I think that's incorrect. Um, so that's not an actual case right there. Uh, they do not have a different uh, super attack modifier. They got they are all keeping supreme damage, at least based off of what the DBZ, uh, the, J the Japan side of DBZ space is showing. So that's good to know. They are not getting a new super attack modifier. So if you read that comment, please ignore it. Um, edit super attack ten. So all these guys are also getting buffed if you get them to super attack ten. Great say man, buff Roshi and Nappa receive a thirty percent attack boost at super attack ten, and Deborah and Krillin will both launch super attacks at nine. Um, when all, remember when all their super attacks are at 10. So uh, that's cool and that's good to know. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the cards real quick. So we have the Debura and he's going to require the seven Baba medals in order to get Doken Awakened. And he Doken Awakens into this nutso attack from the Heights Debura. Uh, let's just look at his max stats. So he has max stats of HP of 10,032, attack of 7544, and defense of 4715. Overall, not a bad unit. I like those stats. Um, for a free-to-play unit, he's pretty damn good. He does have Supreme Damage, so that's going to come into play. and That's going to be really awesome. Um, let's see over here. Uh, he has some decent links, the uh, standard links as he had before. Um, he essentially, he's just a really good villains card to, to have. And you could actually, if you're missing a place of an uh, intelligence uh, villain, he's someone really good to run, especially now with that rebirth link. Uh, next one is going to be the Nappa, who is going to get his Doken Awakening, and he Doken Awakens with max stats of HP of 9664. Really good for a physical unit, typical standard, because uh, physical units usually have some good defensive stats. Um, attack of 7580 and defense of 4852. Overall, not a bad unit. Um, I don't really see him being as viable on an extreme villains team, though, for physical. Uh, he has shocking speed, so I guess that may come into play. Um, overall, not a bad unit, but, you know, he does give key plus two, so if you're lacking some good key links on your villains team, that will become that will definitely come into play. Plus, as his own leader ability, he's still going to be very viable. Um, next one gonna, we're going to talk about is the Krillin. <clears throat> Let's then lower this really quick so you can see the card. Pretty cool card art. I like it. <laughs> it looks a little bit cocky, but what can you do? Uh, um, he's cool, and let's see. I really don't know. It's not like he has really good link skills to begin with. Let's go over here to the uh, English version. Um, rival, duo, best buddies, courage, turtle school, Z-fighters, ex uh, experienced fighters. Overall, he's really not that great in terms of linking skills. Um, oh, yeah, this one, remember, it's been changed. A lot of these have been changed to percentage uh, assists or a percentage increase. Uh, overall, link skills are still not that great on a tech team, but 
you know, he is still a viable unit to run, especially if you don't have the lead. Now, this one I really like. I really like the Great Saiyan Man. Um, in terms of the free-to-play, I don't know why. I just do. I really enjoy his card, card art. Um, so he has a new rebirth as well. His new max stats are HP of 9113, attack of 8279, and defense of 4255. A little bit lower on the defense side. Uh, overall, not a bad unit. Has higher HP. Um, he's still a decent. He, you know, doesn't have a lot of good linking skills as well. He does have shocking speed. Um, I think that's pose. Uh, what is pose? I know he has rebirth, and rebirth is very relevant. Sh uh, signature pose. Okay. Um, I know Shocking Speed can be very good on that team. I believe he shares that with like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and a couple other characters. So he's still going to be a good unit to run, uh, even as support for the rest of the team. And then last but not least, we have the Buff Roshi. Um, Buff Roshi is going to have uh, pretty good good stats overall as well. HP of 90, 21, attack of 85, 36, and defense of 39, 79. Defense is definitely on the lower side. But remember, this is the one he has uh, over in a flash, so short-term battle. Uh, that's really cool, and he has the rebirth link, which you know, again, a little bit over under uh, over underrated, depending on where, what you're using. Um, they are it's a decent link if you don't have good cards. A lot of the older cards will do have rebirth, so um, the ones that don't Dokken from uh, Dokken events specifically. I also like how they have the different ways he's getting set up for the Kamehameha. Um, I think that was the old school from the original Dragon Ball. This scene over here that they're showing. Um, overall, not bad units at all, guys. If you don't have them and you're missing a specific leader for an uh, indiv individual attribute, this would be, definitely be the way to go, uh, especially on the global side, because the global side, it's a lot cheaper. It's only like 30,000 Baba points without a sale. Uh, I actually did. It was funny, because this is the first time that I ever encountered a half-off character on the global side. Twice. Twice I did this. I ended up purchasing uh, an additional Master Roshi. Uh, I forgot, I think it was a Great Saiyan Man, so I think I purchased an additional Great Saiyan Man and an additional Master Roshi for half off. Uh, I unlocked the top left do pads, even though I could technically do the bottom right. Uh, so, essentially, one thing I did want to mention is these guys are technically semi-farmable. Um, Krillin's, yeah, essentially all of these cards do have SR variants, so you can get the SR variant and feed them into them after you Z-Awaken them for a 50% chance for an attack increase. Now, I wouldn't really recommend doing it with the Krillin specifically because in the future, the Bio Broly event, assuming we get it on the global side, uh, Krillin is going to have a Z-Awakened uh, SR, so he's going to have drop an SSR for a 50% chance you can just feed into him and wait for that event to grind that out if you want to wait for it. I personally would rather wait for it because one, I don't think he's a very good card uh, unless you really don't have a tech leader. That's the only time I could see him being utilized um, or if you're lacking good link skills. But uh, overall, you, I'd rather just get the Baba points for the SR Krillins. Uh, but the rest of these guys at this point do not have farmable. I think that uh, Nappa does, but he only drops a rare from his event. So it's not going to be as viable. Um, and the rest of these guys don't. So semi-farmable. So whenever you guys get these SRs, go ahead, Z-Awaken them to SSR and feed them into their counterparts. I sort of have been doing that myself. Uh, not as much just because I don't really put them on my priority list for Zenny and Awakening Metals. But anyway, guys, that's it. I want to get that news out there to you. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new, and I'll catch you later.